we just need to figure out what door this tree opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Oh, you're right. Now that we got the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. is here too. You want to go? one as well. Is that Mjolnir? Did he steal Thor's hammer? Aye, for a time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. Imagine that.
Another name. Come. I have a Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out their differences. Well, they are twice as irritating. Oh, I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. 
Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The Giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. But I can just tell you the story later. Need a little help from you lot. Let's do it. Oh boy, have you got some cleaving ahead of you? Chopping someone in half. Now, what was the other thing? Something on your mind, boy? What next? for another break anyways. be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot.
So what happened after Odin was cast out of Jotunheim? Frustrated. Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. What's that down there? Were all those guys part of his crew? That's a tough crew. And all were his responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. Does it frighten you? Uh... Responsibility. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, I think it used to. But not as much anymore. Why is that? Well, being out here, with you, makes me feel more grown up.
Another name. Hilder! It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. How did this one captain lead so many men? We had their loyalty, so they followed. And then they all died. He must have been a bad leader. Why do you think that? Well, he led all these men to their deaths. True. But these men chose to follow. Hmm. Even good leaders make poor choices. The best take responsibility for them. Remember this. Oh! 
Satisfied now. It's determined to put these men to rest. He would have never been able. That does not matter to you. We will have to remind him of his failure. Then. the spear you need the experience I've had plenty of experience fighting these things what's the real reason mm -hmm. this man inspired loyalty he took responsibility for his mistakes and he was determined to fix them these are good lessons for you oh <laughs> yes oh told us what Magni and Modi had to do with Kronia. Oh yes! Well, what happened after Kronia fell slain upon Thor was that nobody in the court could get the stone body off of him. Thor was no use at this point. His brain rattled, his breath shallow. But none of Odin's men were nearly strong enough to help. And we'll pick this up later. This will be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. Lots of luck. Now you're talking.
You hitting the road or chewing the fat? Yep. after Magni and Modi got Rungnir off door. Magni, being blonder, got all the credit. And Modi remained bitter about it from that day to the end, which I don't need to tell you about. I see something down there. Another name. Gunnar! Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? Award. It's my career! And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, you can't very well be like petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. Well, I can just tell you this story later. Hopefully you'll find some clues about the three legendary ingredients inside this stronghold.
Now don't be a stranger. Atreus, follow me. Be right there. What are you fools doing back here? We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Van Vrit always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. He's a backstabbing bastard, but knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. Hmm. So much like your mother.
Hopefully you'll find some clues about the three legendary ingredients inside this stronghold. That dragon, is Baldur's, isn't it? Yes. And you brought it down, to save me? It was very heroic. Let's see my first job. Right. Me and my mates in the employ of a fairy king. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows they called us, never spikes to the last. And we'll pick this up later. My... My... Ma That's right. We kill... Uh... We laid them all to rest. I see. So even in death, I am a failure. But in life you were honorable, strong-willed, and you inspired loyalty. These are good qualities. Aren't they, boy? Yeah. I couldn't believe how many men followed you here. I thank you for your kind words. May your journey have a more pleasant end than mine. Well, you're right. You didn't seem very satisfied. I guess you never really get over losing ones you care about. <laughs>